How's it going, guys? Welcome to Feria. Feria is a game. It, I believe, it was on like early access slash beta for about a year, but it is finally released. Um, I this is actually the first time I've heard of it. Believe it or not, even though it was a year into its uh, its life, I only have to start the deck here. This game is basically a. Uh, I've heard it be called. Hearthstone and chess, or magic and chess, or insert card game here, and the chess. I'm gonna lower the like the sound effects a bit. Um, so basically, you have your typical Hearthstone thing here that they tell you, oh, these are the things you're gonna get. Uh, you know, you could discard one, keep one. If you go second, you get a free card. I believe I'm going first, though. I am. So basically what you do, uh, every turn you can build one special land or you can build two regular lands and you basically want to try to get to these little mana pocket things. Uh, I believe the game calls that like the fairy. This is like your fairy. And every turn you get three and because he's next to one they get an extra plus one. So you can see how that would be useful or instead I could just get one bonus fairy or I could just draw a card every turn if I don't need to make a land which eventually you no longer need land if that makes if that makes sense so actually what I want to do here is put down a forest because as you can see this guy needs at least one forest for me to play him it's fairly intricate I'm not actually gonna be teaching how to play, but yeah, see that's the, like the, the coin from from Hearthstone, Ogre for Ogre, wow, okay, so you just asked like a 7-7 seven, seven now, that's cool, I can make a 4-6 however, and I want to by putting this guy here, and just gonna make a forest somewhere, um, I can Falcon Dive just to deal the one damage. I don't think I need to though, because any of this that I don't spend carries over into my next turn, so I'm not exactly needing for it. Oh, each player draws two and gains two life, okay. I guess I can't gain more than 20 life, is that what that's, that's indicating to me? Uh, this turn, I actually think, like, I, I put a Seed Seller down, that's actually not where I wanted it to go, I wish it would have placed it here, but I think I'm just going to go for the extra fairy and just place a, an Elder here, and I'm going to use him to hopefully get to that one next turn. I'm not very intricate, or I'm not very, like... I don't know what the proper term is. I'm not very good at explaining what's going on or anything like that when it comes to card games. I have played uh, quite a bit. I've played Hearts of Stone quite a bit, but not not a whole lot. Probably like 20 to 30 hours. Uh, Magic I've played for about six or seven years now. So Magic I know quite a bit more than I know. Hearthstone, Hearthstone, however however people want to pronounce it. So what we do here is we do that. We actually just put the Bloom Spur Bloom Spire Bloom Sprite on it. I don't want to play the horseman this turn because I don't need it. So I actually think I just keep ending my turn here. I'm gonna be getting three, so I get six every turn. That's pretty good. Creates a mountain. Cool. Seems a bit terrifying. Uh, taunt. Taunt is good, though. Taunt is pretty good. Taunt does what Taunt does in pretty much every iteration of every card game ever. Uh, so if they are adjacent to the Taunt minion the top minion must be attacked um, so I think I actually just put my horseman down there 
This doesn't really matter who I give that to because I'm not moving anyone. But all that does is it lets me move three blocks in any direction as opposed to one in any direction. Which I guess if I like build two out that way, I can actually just move in to deal one damage. It's not the most useful attack, but it's an attack nonetheless. Then I think I put a Grove Guardian down here. That way, pretty much, unless he moves in this direction, he has to attack my Grove Guardian. Um, or I guess, like, he just can't move away, right? Adjacent enemies... No, no, they must attack this. Okay. Yeah, so that's gonna... That's understandable. I'm at 7. So what I'm gonna do is just that nice trait there. Uh, play the enforcer there and I actually kind of want to falcon dive my village elder just so I can get the the free card draw keep moving this way chip him down one damage at a time I don't think I need to be building anything anymore like I think I have like there's a pretty decent land distribution because what I can do is just connect these so that maybe I can summon something on this side. That could be all I can think about at the moment. Uh, but I guess I should also mention that this game is uh, free to play on Steam. Creates a random forest vine wall. It's just a Ford taunt. That's interesting. This would cost two less, and I do have something to make it cost two less. Um. Well, if I do this, this is just... That's a fair trade there. That's okay. I want to... Play the Steam Enforcer, I suppose. Uh, move there with that guy. Just put my Vine Wall up. And I'm just going to start to stockpile some nice... Fairy here. I'm not sure what like the meta is of this game. I'm not sure if I need to, uh, you know, be doing anything specific. Like I don't know if I should just always build land or what I should do. Because I should mention that I can only summon things on my own land. Like if I don't have land there, I can't build anything. So I guess it could be somewhat relevant. I'm gonna do this just so I can hit up here. I think that's understandable. And then I'm actually just gonna put this up here. Put down my ancient boar. Might as well move up one. This way I can start build, uh, putting some pressure on him. The whole point of the game is to uh, kill him so I have to just deal 14 damage to him straight up he did destroy both of them so I don't even get this extra well up here which is uh, pretty disappointing I'm gonna do plus one put a Skyland warrior there so that you know in case he kills this guy I can still gain this one. Also, it was a pretty bad idea for me to put the 6-5 as my fairy collector, I suppose, for the lack of a better explanation for what that guy does. But ultimately, I suppose that's what he does. He collects the little the fairy for me. I'm going to move here and trade, just so I can get the, the card, card draw there. Place him down. Oh, I guess if I can attack, I might as well. That tickle more. I don't need these. Get more fairy, end of my turn. I do also, I think I have to do any of those. I don't think that's exactly a bad thing, getting extra fairy anyways. Uh, nice verdant force. I'm actually just going to build grass there so I can put him on it. Or forest, I suppose. But I think I just win this turn. 
And that's basically how one game goes down. I don't know if online games take longer. I actually have yet to play online because it, uh, it scares me to do so. But that's basically what one game looks like. Um, there's other, you know, there's a, there's a shop where you can buy just like this big orb for your avatar, just different avatar stuff, um, you know, like greetings, profile avatar if I want some of these as my sprites. I don't actually have any, so it's a matter what the orb looks like. Card backs, there's quite a bit of them. Uh, and then just wells, you know, just basic stuff. And you have everyone's favorite thing in anything ever, being able to put your luck to the test. I got two rares, I assume it's blue. Once again, I have no idea what's good and what's not. I don't have any water cards though, but you know. That's all good. Plus one plus one if I have two lakes, and plus O plus two if I have two forests. That's cool, because I did just get some island stuff. I might, like, make a blue deck. Oh, wait, what's reroll? What's reroll? Can I just, like, reroll it for free? With base cost seven or higher, gain flying. Well, I guess I'll reroll this. I can just re. Oh, I can reroll one of my two rares. At random? Okay. Well, I... Okay. I'm no longer as happy with what I did there. But it's okay. We're gonna do a second one just because, you know, we're already here. Also, two rares. I don't know what, like, the odds on these are. Sunken Tower, another blue. Wind Wisp, Flying Charge 3. Whenever you attack a god. Flying can move over the sea. That's really cool. And it has charge too, that's actually pretty cool. Um, move a land, deal one damage to this structure. I'll reroll that one. Into a blood obelisk. Whenever an enemy creature dies in combat, deal one damage to your opponent and gain one. Okay, so what these are, these are structures. Um, you could consider them, I guess, artifacts from magic. I'm not sure what the direct, uh, like, translation to the hearthstone cards are basically you play it it takes up a spot and it just it can't attack it can only be attacked so that now you know you know whenever someone dies i deal one damage to my opponent and i gain one fairy and that's basically that uh you can obviously you can buy some more if you're that kind of person so there's two currencies in the game you have your coins which you get from just matches and stuff and then you have your gems that are your pay to win element. Um, that's basically it. Um, I guess if you all would like to see more of this game, let me know. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.